two years since the first case of COVID-19 was detected in Wisconsin. Protective measures are still very important. Our Sarah McGrew live in Milwaukee with a look at where we stand right now. Sarah. Yeah, well, testing sites like here at the Menominee Valley have become very commonplace. The next big push in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic is coming from the federal government, which has promised at home tests and free N95 masks, both of which many here in Southeast Wisconsin are still waiting for. I think a lot of us were hopeful that this was kind of going to be a respiratory season that we needed to get through, uh, and then it would become, you know, more, more endemic. Two years and multiple variants later, we've seen the development of several vaccines. And the reality of uh, one, a uh, whole bunch of people didn't want that vaccine. They weren't interested in it. Uh, that was worrisome because we knew the variants would likely have the upper hand. Today, as a surge in Omicron cases is on the decline, a new variant, an offshoot of Omicron, is now in Wisconsin. The theory of it uh, is that, you know, maybe it's a little more contagious, but but maybe not. In the continued fight against the pandemic, the federal government announced this month that every household would be able to order four free at home COVID tests. But many of you express frustration on social media that nearly two weeks after ordering those tests haven't been received. The Biden administration said tests would be sent out prioritizing vulnerable and hardest hit areas. It's unclear where Southeast Wisconsin falls on that list. And some people say it's been difficult even ordering the tests, especially those living in multi-unit buildings, since only one residential address can be used to order. USPS tells TMJ4 there's very few cases of that happening, but if it's happened to you, you can fill out a service request on their website. And when tests finally arrive in your mailbox, it's important to know that they're antigen tests and a false negative is certainly a possibility. Uh, you cannot be as reassured with a negative test with these antigen tests as you can with a PCR-based test. But a positive test, uh, when those antigen tests are positive, uh, that usually means pretty conclusively that you have COVID-19. And the federal government is also sending free N95 masks to pharmacies across the country. Walgreens says many of its stores have already received a first wave, including some here in southeast Wisconsin. I'll have a list of those up on our website, TMJ4.com. Reporting in Milwaukee, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News. Sarah, thank you very much. Now, the latest numbers from the state show the fewest new cases reported in a single day since Christmas Eve, just under 2,500. The seven day average now just over 5,900. Now, that number happens to be the lowest number since December 30th. Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine has received full approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. It's now approved for use in people ages 18 and older, but it is not authorized for use in younger individuals. And if you'd like to find a COVID testing site or vaccination site near you, just head to tmj4.com coronavirus.